Hi everyone, another video on my uh, Shelly EM Energy Monitor. Uh, this is the web interface uh, to the Shelly device, uh, the Shelly EM, which is a dual channel uh, energy uh, monitor that connects to the house via Wi-Fi. I wanted to show you how using uh, an HTTP request that you could download uh, all of the stored energy usage data for each of these two channels. This is a two channel uh, device. You can see here I've got one named house and one outside. So let me just show you what the format looks like. So uh, to download uh, the file, which is a CSV file, so you can read that into anything that reads a CSV file, I use uh, Excel. Uh, you just need the uh, H, uh, you need the IP address of the Shelly device itself. Uh, you need to use the function emeter, then decide on the channel. So the first channel is denoted as zero and the second channel is denoted as one. And then lastly, it's em underscore data uh, dot CSV. So just switching back quickly to the web interface for my Shelly, my web address is 192.168.1.247. So the command for the first channel, channel zero, I've typed out here in full to include the address. So if I just press uh, control C uh, for copy, uh, open up a browser, paste that in and press enter. Then you can see at the right here, uh, that's starting to do uh, a download. Uh, so once that's done, you just want to click on the file and uh, and open that. So uh, let's do that. So just open that in Excel. So once you've got that open, um, I'll just open up these columns so it's a bit easier to read. So essentially, in um, you can see here in uh, five minute increments, it records the uh, uh, energy used uh, in watts. Let's just open that a little bit more so it's a bit clearer. So energy used in watts. There's a second channel, returned energy. So that would be if you had a solar implementation, that would be air power uh, that you're coming in uh, rather than uh, using. So for me, uh, with no solar array, I've got uh, in this first five minute intervals, I've used uh, 4.6 watts. And it also shows you my min and my max uh, voltage. So I'm in the UK, it's a 240 volt. Uh, system so it's hovering around 239.5 and 242 so what you can do now you can pull this into uh, any other application to produce some interesting charts uh, for example on power consumption per day time of day week month etc so uh, you can see it's quite interesting every every five minutes i've got a fairly um, consistent power consumption across the board there um, I, but I thought that was quite useful. Um, you can also get the power. So if I just switch back to um, the web interface, you can see a little down arrow here, either side of those two channels. If you click on those arrows, uh, either of those arrows, that will uh, also download a CS file, CSV file. So you can do it via the web interface or you can do it just via this simple uh, HTTP command. And then you'll end up with a CSV file, which you can open in Excel uh, amongst many other um, applications so that you've got the data uh, in its raw format uh, for you to look at. So what's interesting, I don't know how far this goes back. So this is to this is the 28th of October all the way through to uh, should be today. Let's just scroll to the bottom. Uh, so that goes as far as the 4th of December. Um, uh, which was a couple of days ago. So, uh, yeah, quite a bit of data in there. I don't know what the limit is. I might do a bit of research and find out what that is and then report back to anyone. But anyway, I hope that helps. And if it does, please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everyone.